In this session, we are discussing measures of position that is standard score and outliers. So, at first we are discussing standard score also known as Z score. A Z score or standard score for a value is obtained by subtracting the mean from the value and dividing the result by the standard deviation. And the symbol for a standard score is Z and the formula can be visualized in this way that is Z is equal to that very particular value minus mean by the standard deviation. For samples the formula is x minus x bar by s and for the population the formula will be x minus mu by this sigma. So, here s stands for the standard deviation for sample and x bar is the mean for the sample. Similarly, mu is the mean for the population and sigma is the mean sigma is the standard deviation for the population. So, the z score represents the number of standard deviations that a data value falls above or below the mean. So, this is the purpose of the z score also known as the standard score. Now, we shall discuss outliers. These outliers are very important and in our machine learning we will be using these terminologies for multiple different places. An outlier is an extremely high or an extremely low data value when compared with the rest of the data values. So, procedure to find our outliers. So, here we are having 5 different steps. Let us go one by one. Arrange the data in order and find Q1 and Q2. So, Q1 and Q2 are the first and the third quartile. So, step 2 find the inter quartile, quartile range. So, it will be denoted by, by the abbreviation IQR inter quartile range. So, that is nothing but Q3 minus Q1. Step 3 multiply the IQR that is inter quartile range by 1.5. Step 4 subtract the value obtained in step 3 that is our respective IQR into 1.5. So, subtract the value obtained in step 3 from Q1 and add that value with the Q2. Step 5 check the data set for any data value that is smaller than Q1 minus 1.5 into IQR or larger than Q3 plus 1.5 into IQR. So, those values which will be falling beyond these ranges will be known as outliers. So, I think for the better understanding let us see one example. So, example of outliers. So, check the following data set for outliers. So, here we are having a set of data. How many data we are having here? Here we are having 8 data. So, at first we are calculating the Q1 and Q1 is equal to 9 and Q3 is equal to 20 here. So, now questions might be asked how this Q1 has become 9 and Q3 is equal to 20. So, as we are having 8 number of data and 8 is an even number. So, I cannot get the middle most data. So, to calculate Q2 that is the second quartile that is the median of this data I shall have to do the average of data number 4 and data number 5. So, the fourth data is our 13 and uh, fifth data is our 15. So, 13 plus 15 whole by 2. So, 14 will be our Q2. So, here we are having this 14. So, in the first half, in the first half before this uh, median, in the first half we are having how many data? We are having 4 data. So, to calculate this Q1, I must be doing 4 data means it is the even number of numbers. So, I cannot get the middle most value. So, I shall take the average of this 6 plus 12. So, 6 plus 12 and by 2 that is the average of 6 and 12 rather. So, 6 plus 12 what is that? That is our 18 by 2 what is that? That is our 9. So, Q1 is equal to 9 here. So, as we know that here the 14 is the second quartile that is the median. So, here on the uh, and above this particular 14 we are having 4 data even number of data. So, to calculate this Q3 I must be getting the average of 18 and 22. So, 18 plus 22 whole by 2. So, I shall be getting here 20. So, 20 is our Q3 and 9 is our Q1. So, that is the step 1 we followed. Arrange the data in the order and find Q1 and Q2. So, we have covered that one. 
Next we are going for this I Q R that is inter quartile range. So, that is Q 3 minus Q 1 that is 20 minus 9 is 11. So, we followed the step 2 that is the inter quartile range we have calculated. Now, I shall multiply this value with 1.5. So, 1.5 into 11 is equal to 16.5. So, step number 3 multiply this I Q R by 1.5 it has been done. Next. So, the lower limit is equal to 9 minus 16.5 that is minus 7.5 and upper limit is equal to 20 plus 16.5 that is our 36 point. So, that was asked to be done here. So, now we are going for this step number 5. So, check the data set for any data values that fall outside this interval that is minus 7.5 below to that to 36.5 above to that if there is any value existing then the then the value will be treated as a as an an outlier so here we are getting this value that is the value 50 is outside this interval hence it can be considered as one outlier so in this way we have discussed that how to calculate the standard score and how to determine the outliers in a set of data in this video thanks for watching this